Hey everyone, it's Kelly here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for another midweek video. I am super excited about this next soap that I'm going to make, but I'll explain more of that in the actual soap making video on the weekend. For now, what we're going to do is make the embeds to go in this soap. A little while ago, I did a midweek video showing how I made this block of green soap, and then I shaved pieces off to make the soap curls that went into my lemongrass and Persian lime soap. I then mentioned what was left over I was going to wrap up and keep in my little bag of soap dough so that I could make another project a little bit later on. I've already broken off a piece I'm going to use so I'm going to keep this one wrapped up in my plastic and this is a eco-friendly biodegradable plastic that I'm using and it's just to stop it from drying out while I'm doing the rest of this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ball of soap dough that I've got. I'm just going to give it a quick dust with some um, cornflour powder and just a quick dust of my mat as well just to prevent some sticking. Now all this is is a clean dishcloth which I've put a little bit of cornflour into the bottom and then wrapped it up with an elastic band and then that just adds as a little bit of a powder. First thing I'm going to do is roll this out into a bit of a sausage. Now I'm going to have to actually create several of these and I will have to join them up in my soap. And that's just so that I can end up with a nice thickness of soap dough and also um, the correct sort of size and shape. <laughs> So I'm pretty happy with that so far. What I'm going to now do is take my rolling pin and I have had a little bit of play with this already. I'm going to dust that off with some of my powder so it still doesn't stick to me. And I'm just going to very gently roll this out so it becomes a little bit flatter. So I need a really thin piece of red to go into the middle of this strip and it's going to be really hard to roll out some of this red soap dough to actually fit and be thin enough. It will just keep breaking and things like that. How do I know? Because I've tried. So what I'm going to do is just roll out myself a little bit of a sausage like that and then I have this really handy tool. It's an extruder and just on the end here I've got the circle shape. It comes with all sorts, hexagons, triangles and all sorts. All you then do is you pop your soap into the cylinder and you get the other end, you pop it on and then we bring this back down and we tighten that onto the top of our extruder. Okay, so we've got that tightened on there now and all it is is just a matter of winding this down and as that starts to touch the soap dough, it will start to push it out the other end in whichever shape that you've got attached onto the end of your tool. So this is coming out a bit funny. That's it. They were seeming to break on me a little bit there. I think it is just because we are so hot here. It makes things really difficult. But you can see I'm getting a long, nice, thin piece of red soap. We're at the end, so we'll just pull that out like so. And all I'm going to do is, it doesn't really matter that it is breaking up. I am going to attach it inside my green here. It doesn't look too nice at the moment, but it will all come together at the end. So I'm going to do that one. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and pop that back in its bag so it doesn't dry out on me. And with this piece, I am going to roll it up. So I'm just bringing the sides up and around that red and then I will give it a little bit of a roll just to make sure that it is all nice and smooth. I'm actually thinking now I may be able to get away with making one of these canes for each of my soaps. I need three in total but originally I was thinking I would have to make a few and actually join them up together. But with how this is coming together I am being able to push that out just a little bit more so hopefully we won't have to make too many. Grab my mold and see how we're going. In fact, that is plenty long enough. So I am really happy that I am only really going to have to make three of these 
um, canes of soap. Okay, so that these don't dry out on me, I'm going to go and wrap it up in some film and I'm going to put it to one side and then I'm going to come back and make some more. Okay, so those three are now made and you're probably wondering what on earth it is that I am trying to accomplish to make. Well, I'm going to make a few more but I'm actually going to make these as individual ones. It will be a little bit easier to, for you to see what we're doing. So I don't want that piece, it feels a bit hard. So what I'm going to do is just break off a little piece of soap dough here and just get it nice and pliable and then I'm going to roll these up into little almond shaped balls. So that one's looking okay. And what I'm now going to do, I'll have a look through my box. Here is one. I have just a tool with a ball on the end and what I'm going to do is just push that into the middle here. And then we'll make a nice cavity. I'm going to get my red, which I've been squeezing out and I'm just going to push that and stuff that into that little cavity there and make sure that it is nicely filled. Okay, so that's looking really good. I'll just give that another little bit of a roll round. And then I'm just going to leave it sit on the side here while I roll a few more and then I will come back and I will start to cut them up and then hopefully if you can't already see it, you'll see what I'm going to be making. Have you now actually guessed what I am making here? If you said olives, you would be correct. We're trying. I am attempting to make some green olives, and what I want to do with these ones is actually cut them in half because these ones will actually go on the top of the soap. So I'll just gently cut them in half there, and the idea is that they're a green olive with a little bit of that pimento in the middle of them. So I'm going to keep making all these olives that we're going to be needing for the weekend soap. I can already see the more I'm making, the better I am at getting these ones. So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I am making my embeds for the next soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will certainly get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you are new around here and you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and if you hit that little bell sign, it will let you know when that weekend video comes up so you can see what we're going to do with all of these olives. So until then, have a great week and I'll catch you then. Bye!